I'm in Tulum. I thought I was doing something by taking a day of not filming this trip and relaxing and like, oh, I'll start vlogging the next day. You missed a lot, to say the very least. But we're here. Okay, we're here for a wedding. One of our friend's wedding, but like a lit wedding, not a boring wedding. And uh, let's get into it. Just got to the hotel. Don't know what to expect. Never been to Tulum before. But this place really pops off on Instagram. I don't know about you, but like TikTok and Instagram has been blowing Tulum up my whole explore page. And now I'm like, okay, we are here. Let's see what the hype is all about. Last night, I don't even know if I want to get into what happened last night because I am actually traumatized. So maybe we'll get into that later when I'm a little more zen. But last night was a lot. It was intense, but now the vibes are high again. Let's open minds. Good things are going to happen. What's up? What's up? Did you tell them about what happened last night? No. <laughs> Not yet. We can story time later. I will say something that I love about Henny and I is when we are on vacation mode, we fully commit to the bit. Well, as much as we can, but we just ordered two tequila con piñas. Something about Mexico. Cause you, like, you know how we are. We're grandma and grandpa during <laughs> regular life, but something about Mexico brings out the fun in us. Check out this boutique -y resort. Oh my God, the vibes were so immaculate. I think there was only like nine rooms. And let me just say, this is absolutely our vibe. I prefer this to one of those massive resorts any day. It's like three steps to the pool, five steps to get to breakfast. And let me tell you, the no walking of it all hits. Welcome. This is the first impressions room tour, so my lack of knowledge is because I haven't seen it yet. Whoa. It's pretty cute. Open it up so you can get some sound. Oh, this is funky. Did you see the office upstairs? Whoa. So it's giving me Tiki Hut loft energy. Downstairs we have the bed. Where's the bathroom? That's a fantastic question. No, for real though. Right here? Oh, thank God. Oh, it's cute. Oh, super cute. Ooh, I love this like, where the... Mm -hmm. That is. Oh, funky. Oh, this is a cool little spot. So that's what I'm saying. We could actually get like work done here. Like, this with a laptop is where I would want to. You want to kick it? Kick, wow. yeah. And look at the little porthole or whatever the f that is. Oh, so you can see the ocean? Wow. Okay, hi. So I'm here for my friend's wedding, but it's not like one of those boring type of weddings. It's one of those lit weddings. Like my friend is like 22 or 23. So all of our friends and young and we're ready to have a good time. So yesterday we did a boat day, okay? And it was lit. And today is a chill day. So I'm gonna get glam and I'm trying to get some pics because I overpacked so Okay, I just did my glam. I just did some straight hair, which I feel like is always my cop out when I don't feel like doing my hair. I just flatten it and I'm like, you know what? This is better than it looking crunchy. I have laid three looks out. I'm gonna try to take my pictures because you know what? It's so, it's not smart when you go on a vacation. You're like, I'm gonna relax. I'm not gonna do anything like social media. And then you pack a bunch of cute outfits and you're like, but. I want to get some pictures while I'm here. So, I have this first look. It's this gorgeous, dainty dress. I think it's vintage Roberto Cavalli. Yeah, and the detail is going to be like hair and a clip, some gold accessories, white little pumps, and this glass purse, which is everything. I had to pack this in bubble wrap so it wouldn't break. I have this red look from the Coachella styling video that I didn't get to wear yet, which fits me like a glove and like honestly wish I could wear it to the wedding tomorrow, but I feel like I won't be able to sit in it and I want to be able to move around. And then this third outfit, which we call the octopus, I'm going to bleep that out, which is this really weird outfit. Honestly, I've never really worn anything like this, but it's this long dress with these like long leggings that go over the foot. Put some like little clear heels and some accessories. So the outfits are fun. I'm gonna try to get some cute ones. Uh, yeah, so um, about what happened last night, Henny and I are on the balcony of our hotel room. So the last hotel we stayed in, I'll insert some pics. The last hotel we just stayed in was super cute. It was like treehouse vibes, adorable. Nat is the one who chose where we were gonna stay. She did all the research and like according to her, this was the safest spot to stay. Okay. 
And it's also where all the fun action is. It's on Party Row or whatever it's called. I think it's literally called Party Row. So she says this is the safest place to stay and we're like, bet. So we stay there and granted, this is not cheap. I feel like Tulum, for whatever reason, I was under the impression that things would be cheaper here when I looked at people going on Instagram all the time and like seeing all these amazing spots. I'm like, fire, this seems like a cool vacation spot that you can get some great good value on. No, it's actually fucking expensive. Anyways, we're staying at this expensive ass fucking hotel and at 12.01, 12, 12.20 a.m., I'm sitting outside on the porch with Henny on a hammock, having a stupid ass argument, and all of a sudden, we hear boom, 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 crack, 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 right there. So I run inside because we're in the middle of a, you know, I don't want to get demonetized. And the type that it was is like, okay, so we all know what MGK stands for. It was an MG, and I've never been so close to that in my life. Why are you looking at me like I'm flirting? What's MGK stand for? Machine Gun Kelly. It was a fucking machine gun. It wasn't like a little like pew, pew, pew. It was one going like It was so fucking scary. So I thought we were under attack. And Henny's panicking. We don't know what to do. I was panicking? You weren't like, oh, no big deal. This is fun. You were like, oh, shit. Well, yeah, I, mean, I don't want to be a part of that. So it was terrifying. I ran to the bathroom and I'm like, we should have never came here. Like, so stupid. Whatever. Um, and yeah, and then we went to sleep and I was fucking terrified the whole night because how do you sleep after that drama? So it was right outside of our hotel, literally right outside. For you to leave the hotel, we were there. I was there like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes before that happened. I walked back with some tacos. It's just weird. Just kind of. It's weird to keep going with their little, like, Tulum vacation. It was just a weird moment. Because, I mean, I've never been that close to that before. Yeah. Henny what? hasn't. Nat and Brian. Guy died. He got killed. Yeah, literally. Like, a guy got killed and two other people got hurt, apparently. And then you're just like, okay, let's just... Let's just continue Instagram on. Instagram story, like, yeah. Like, nothing I'm in happened. Tulum, and it's just like, yo, what? It's, it's weird. So, yeah, we're trying to, like, shake off those vibes. Literally in the morning, this morning, our hotel was putting, like, lighting sage everywhere, like, blowing sage everywhere, like, for la mala vibras. It's a good thing we left that hotel. I was over it yesterday. I was like, I need to go home. We need to go home. I'm done. Yeah, I'm just like, what am I, what am I what doing What are we doing here? here? In well, the I, forest, in the beach, like... Defenseless, nothing we could do, not a single weapon. Honestly, I could have used this. Is it glass? Boom! Yeah, so that's what happened last night. That's a story time, y'all. Expensive as hell, dangerous and shit. <laughs> Man, that's why I stay home. Hey, hey, we're about to go to dinner. This is the fit. Um, I didn't realize that the streets here were very like potholy and stuff, so you can't really walk around in heels. So I'm gonna bring that one. Okay, we had to pay like a million dollars to be let into this place, but we're about to go have some sort of tequila experience upstairs. I don't know, I'm excited. Apparently it has a gorgeous view. But the jungle vibes are jungling. I do live for it. And today is date night, because basically all the other nights we have wedding obligations. So tonight's the one night that we can enjoy some alone time and do some like romantic shit. So that's tonight. And hopefully this is cute because we just paid $89 a person to get in. And I'm like, what? Really was expecting Tulum to be fun for the Lolo. I had no idea it was a Narmana Lay. But once I get some tequila in me, I'll probably stop complaining. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, this is Azulik. Not my underwear hanging out of the back of my skirt. Anyways. Honestly, I have never been to a place like this in my life. Whenever you think of Tulum or you think of the TikToks, I feel like this resort is the blueprint for that because they kind of invented this aesthetic and like most of the Tulum content you see tends to be this place. So the vibes are super tree housey. I've honestly never seen anything like this in my life. So I do understand the expensive cover charge because it's giving very much tourist attraction and not in a shady way, but more of like, like they know you're gonna come and get your iconic Instagram pictures type of way. I will say not everybody there was like vibing and the atmosphere wasn't super party-like. It was giving a little bit of photo moment. Also, those little bird nest looking things over there, those are tables at the restaurant. So you can literally reserve that and eat your dinner in a bird 
bird's nest in the top of the jungle on the beach. Oh my god, I changed my shoes. Yes, okay, so obviously I was not gonna walk on the scary bridge in my heels, but I did change into them to get my little flicks. What I will say is everybody there was taking so many Instagram pictures. It felt like a metaverse moment, not gonna lie. But how do you not when this is the view and this is what's around? Like, I get it. And I was a part of it. So maybe I am the drama. Our lighting crew sucks. Henny's lighting the ground in front of his feet so he doesn't yeah, fall. Henny, what the fuck? Um, first of all, hi. Second of all, now I already told them about what happened to us last night. <gasps> Why? Because we got a text. Oh, we got like a PR email from the hotel Damage being like, control. hey, we know that what happened last night sounded crazy, but we don't want to spread any rumors. We're like, girl, we saw the articles. We saw the news reports. Yeah, so they told us not to report fake news, but I'm like, I don't know. We saw the crime scene. But, oh, is this where we're going right now? Yeah, show them. Got some money. Yeah. Show them. Please. Look how cute. Honey, you suck. Why are you so far back? <laughs> I totally Wait, I'm dead. This is Brian, Nat's husband. This is Henny with the light. They probably hate us right now. We're like, we need light. And they're like, leave us alone. But this is the place, Casa Maria. <laughs> yeah, Tulum. Wait, wait, what is that? No, don't play with me. What? what is it? I thought I saw some running across. I saw something. Yeah. I do. Okay, let's go. 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 let us go Natalie. Not suggesting that I use my platform wisely, her words exactly. <laughs> and start asking you for weekly Instagram captions so I don't have to bother her and be like, what do I caption this? You guys, the amount of stress I did not sign up for, for a <laughs> caption. Anyways, we're at this other bar. I had to just bust out my fucking Spanish skills and beg them to take my drink back because I said to make me like a slightly spicy drink. I guess I didn't say and, slightly. And it was just spicy as you thinking that anyone can see you right now is so funny. This, this it's it's all black. No, you, I know that they can't, can't see me. No, I thought it like fit the it's vibe. It's a podcast at this point. <laughs> You're gonna hear. Oh yes. Oh okay. We got we got the video. Yes, Miss Natalie. Good morning, Tulum. I'm not gonna lie. I really am excited for today. Last night I had the amazing game time decision to walk past the front desk and be like, "Puedo empezar el media mañana con un masaje." And he was like, see, they have me better look here. And there was one at 9 a.m. for two people. So, girl, we're about to go there and get our our backs crickety cracked. And today's the wedding day. So today should be super, super fun. Let's get into it. Vamos. <laughs> Back up real quick. No, no, Why are you going to feed up, it? Up, Why up, are you going to feed it? It's not going to leave you alone. Because I'm trying to put it all over there. Vamos a empezar con ese y después hacemos un smooth y hacemos un drink. En un segundo. Gracias. We also have the tequila bottle in the room. What's up? Oh. Get a little smoothie. Oh. Pretty much okay. Here's my here's my my constitution. <laughs> okay, this is this is how you should do This is how I view it. This is how I think is okay. Right, obviously, because I do it. You can bring, you can get a bottle of alcohol to your own hotel. It feels like a lot. What he's like saying is you can spike your drinks with your own alcohol. You can if spike your drinks. If you're doing it at the own. hotel, you're staying That at. You're staying at, right? I was going to get there. I, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was just warming up. I don't take it to another hotel. Like, if I go to another hotel, I think that starts a little, I'm not going to be in the water bottle, you know, I'm not going to be pouring. I think that's like a little too much. Spiking your own drink in another hotel gives ratchet. But if you do it at your own hotel, what, if I'm going to be at the hotel, I'm really going to pay $20 a cocktail and we're just going to be chilling here all day? Nope. Or did I already pay the daily rate, which allows me to bring, to have my own room and thus, right, Use I have own my supply. own room, so therefore I'm living here. So if I'm living here, how am I not going to pour my own tequila that I bought from the grocery store? It seems all right to me. I think it's totally, I think I think it's fine. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is the sweet siesta. Apple juice, carrot, lemongrass, ginger, lime. Boom! Wait, 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 hold Tequila. up. Tequila. Or the detox grapefruit, hibiscus, lemongrass, ginger, carrot. The thing about Tulum is I think everything's all like vibe, detox, cayenne, acai bowl. Feels like mm -hmm. the f Coachella menu. If we're gonna go swimming at the beach after this, I would not mind a little tequila to take the edge off. Look, I mean, it's just Mexico. I think sometimes it's like I'm not getting 
fucked up. I'm just having a drink with tequila in it for breakfast. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? I think that's okay. I think that's kind of how it works. And get the coffee made on the phone. <laughs> I love Mexico phone. honey. It brings out another side get to my man. Get the coffee made on the phone. Get, get the, the coffee, coffee man, man on the phone. phone. Get the coffee man on the phone. Where you at? <laughs> we out here in Tulum. Fuck Austin McGroom. Oh, the sun is shining. <laughs> No, I couldn't think of anything that rhymed with it. It was either that or the music they play reminds me of Flume, and it was okay. too much pressure. Go, go, go. You, you no, rap. No, you had something. I was just... No, 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 no. No, go. Let's hear it. Going to loom. <laughs> with me is bada bing, bada boom. It's kind of, that's all I had, and I thought about that like a minute and a half ago. Oh. <laughs> you don't know to tell me twice. Damn, yours is good. Except, you know what I don't love? The taste of papaya. Are you team papaya or team papaya? Because I swear a lot of bitches love papaya. And I'm like, how? It tastes objectively bad. 